an unbelievable tool. Let's see the knife, right? up buddy. She's mine soon enough. Soon Jennifer. I promise. You don't get it, do you? Not him. No, it's me you want. Had a really good time last night. You spent the fucking night? Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, have a good day at work. Okay. Thanks, baby. Bye. Bye. This can't keep happening. You're making a mistake. If you can't see it, I'll have to show you. Excuse me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ooh, you scared me. My car broke down just up the street and my phone is dead. Think I can borrow yours to call AAA? Yeah. Oh, man, your life's yeah. saving. Thanks so much. Yeah, bro. Of course. Appreciate it. Yeah. Nice place you have here. It had to be done. It had to. It was a problem. A problem for both of us. But now we don't have to worry about that problem anymore. Hey, neighbor. Oh, hi, how are you? I'm good. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, no, sorry. You you just normally don't say much. Yeah, I'm working on that, being more outgoing and all. Well, that's good. I mean, you never know what's good's gonna come to you when you put yourself out there. That's what I always say. Agreed. Sometimes you just gotta swing for the fence and mm -hmm. see what happens. Oh, well put. I mean, that's a good way of looking at things. Well, thank you. You on your way to work? Oh, no, just some shopping and then I'm off to my boyfriend's. Well, have fun. And I hope this day brings you many pleasant surprises. Thank you. And you too. Hey. Oh, hi Charles. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for your loss. I heard what happened. I can't believe it. It's truly awful. I mean, who would want to do that to him? One sick son of a bitch. Oh, I'm sorry, I just want to go in and lay down. Emotional day. Totally understandable. I, um, I'm here for you if you need anything. Just ask. 
Right across the street. That's very kind. Thank you. Hey, you. Um, hi. I was wondering when you'd get home. Didn't want everything getting cold. Charles, why are you here? I told you. Anything you needed. I figured you could use a good home-cooked meal right now. Charles, you can't just be in here. You're stressed. Probably didn't have time or the energy to reach out. I get it. No, Charles, I need you to leave. Just sit. Try it. I made a special for you. And Jennifer, I know what you like. Charles, seriously, go home! You have to. Besides, how are we going to talk about our future? Our future? Charles, I don't want you in my house! I can be more than he was. What are you talking about? John didn't deserve you. And he definitely didn't appreciate you. Not like I do. I mean, not like I will. Why would you say that? Because it's true. We belong together. <laughs> With John around, you couldn't see it. But I showed you. And now you have to see it. So you did this, you crazy son of a bitch? It's better this way. But John, you've been miserable. Think about the heartache I've saved you. You sick fucker, I'm calling the cops. <laughs> Where are you going? We gotta sit down and talk about us. Stop! Jennifer, please. This is what we want. We? Fuck you. I would rather die than be with you. We were meant to be together. Please. Why are you doing this? Just stop. You're ruining everything. Ugh. All I wanted was something beautiful. You, Jennifer, we were perfect for each other.
What an unbelievable tour.